Hey guys, I'm Merrick and welcome back to my channel. Here we talk about luxury handbags and accessories. So if you're interested in that kind of content, I would love it if you would subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. If you're one of my subscribers, then so glad to have you back. If you're tuning into this video, you're probably interested in purchasing a pair of Christian Louboutins for yourself. Um, so I'm going to go through the journey it was for me to get my first pair of Christian Louboutins. So um, check out the description box below for timestamps if you're interested in only certain parts of this video. And also I'll have linked down there um, the specific heels that I bought and the other styles that I tried. So if you're interested in that, then let's get started. So I ended up purchasing the Christian Louboutin Pagals in the shiny black Napa leather in the 85 millimeter heel height. These came out in 2004 and are the most iconic heel style from Christian Louboutin. Timeless, elegant, and just so beautiful they'll never go out of style. So these are the ones I ended up with. Stick around for mod shots at the end. Oh, All no. Christian Louboutins come in this brown box. Also has the matching bag. So what comes in the box, you have a beautiful red felt dust bag. You have a cute little dust bag with the extra heel taps. And then you have your beautiful shoes. Each of them is stuffed and has the plastic bar to help maintain the shape. for your first pair of Christian Louboutins, my advice for you is to think about what are you looking for them for? Are you looking for them to be wearable, comfortable, something you wanna stand in for a long time, or are these just more for photos and you know short time periods? Because I think what your goal for the shoe is is really important. So for me, I wanted to have shoes that I could wear for a long period of time and to be timeless and to be comfortable. Um, because if I'm going to be investing this much um, of my hard-earned money in a pair of shoes, then I definitely want them to be something that can be used often. So because of that, I went for a classic pump style and I looked at all of the different styles that there were um, and ended up choosing the ones that I chose. Uh, but the next thing I thought about was the heel height. So Christian Louboutin heels typically come in 70 millimeters, 85 millimeters, 100 millimeters, up to 105, 120 millimeters. And so those are basically ranging from kitten heels to, you know, five inch heels. The heel height is very, it's a very personal decision based on how, you know, what is your preferred heel height and what you can wear for a long period of time. So I know personally, I have tried to be the 100 millimeter or four inch heel person and that just does not work for me. Um, my feet just hurt so much if I'm wearing heels that are that steep just with the way my foot is. So the 85 millimeter heel height is a total game changer for me. It still looks high enough, like it doesn't look like a short heel, but it just increases the amount of wear time that I can last in these shoes and not want to cry because my feet hurt so bad. So I knew I was going with the 85 millimeter heel height. And then the next thing you look at is the type of material that your shoe is. So if you're looking for a leather style, then you know your regular leather like this is gonna be the most comfortable and most and soft and will stretch over time. Whereas the patent leathers are very stiff and don't tend to stretch much at all. So I would recommend trying the shoe on just to see how it fits with your foot since everyone's foot is different. But for me, I tried on multiple patent leather shoes and absolutely not, no go for me, could not do it. But these were very, very comfortable. So the first pair of shoes I bought were from the Christian Louboutin website and they were the Arisas in black patent leather, 85 millimeter heel height. And I thought they were gonna be perfect. I'd done so much research and you know, everyone said, these are the most comfortable ones if your foot is on the wider side, you know, wear them for hours. And so I was so excited and I got them in the mail, put them on and I thought, you know, these are okay. Um, I think I could probably last in them for a while, but these would not be my go-to heels. And they just, for some reason, just weren't very flattering on my foot. So I ended up returning those 
And then I purchased the Kate style, which is a full pump. Um, and it's similar to the Pigals, but the toe box is a little bit different. And so I ordered those in nude patent leather and they came in the 85 millimeter heel height. And those came in and I tried them on, put my foot in it, and instantly I knew absolutely not, these will not work for me. I ordered a half size too large, so it was a little bit loose in the heel, but my main problem was that the toe box was so small that my toes were just crunched in there. And there was a lot of toe cleavage and that just, little more than I was interested in. So it wasn't a good look for me. I didn't love it and I returned those. So after two purchases and returns, I thought I'm just gonna go into the store and try these on. I should have done that from the beginning. I went to the store, I you know, talked to the SA and she said, okay, so if you want comfortable heels, then you need to go with the Pigal. And the main point that makes the Pigal comfortable is this heel. So all of the other heels are so Thin. they're like I mean toothpicks they're beautiful looking absolutely but just this much more of a thick heel is a game changer with the weight distribution so instead of all of that weight feeling like it's on the ball of your foot it's able to distribute a little bit more and that is so much more comfortable so after trying them on side by side I knew absolutely these are the ones I'm going for the thicker heel if you want to wear them for longer than, you know, 30 minutes to an hour, these are what you've got to go for. For sizing, um, I actually got these in the 39. My typical size is a 38 and a half. So definitely size up a half size if you're going for these. So when you get the shoe, um, I've had mine resold. Um, they are originally shiny like this all the way down. It has a sticker on it that says remove before wearing, but they are very, very delicate. So as soon as you walk on something that's not carpet, it will get scuffed instantly. Um, and also it's very slick, so you're gonna be sliding around. So um, I definitely recommend resoling them with a rubber sole. I went to my cobbler, he had these done really quickly um, and they usually do have the red soles in stock. This is also a game changer when you're walking around because there's grip with the rubber sole so it's even more comfortable. So I highly recommend not only for preserving how the red looks um, but also just for ease of walking. Uh, but it, they don't cover the Christian Louboutin uh, made in Italy and then the size. Um, so that will always show. And the part that when you're walking that you see is not what the resold part is. So you still see the original you know, flash of red um, with every step. So I'd say I'm not a brand loyalist when it comes to luxury shoes. And these are my only pair of Christian Louboutins. Um, I have um, a couple of other designer shoes, um, the Nola Blana Kangeezies and the Gianvi Rossi suede pumps, um, which I'll do a review on those coming up. But just so you know, if you're looking for really comfortable first time you ever wear them, no blisters at all, the Gian Vito Rossi suede pumps, um, I got them of course in the 85 millimeter, are the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. I'm looking to continue to branch out my luxury shoes. So if you guys have any recommendations of comfortable strappy sandals, pumps, you know, just any type of shoe really, then I'm definitely um, on the lookout. I was thinking about the Hermes Iran sandals, but I don't know, if you guys have those, I'd love to know your opinion on those as well. I hope my buying process and journey to my first pair of Christian Louboutins was helpful for you. So if it was, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and then leave a comment with your favorite designer shoe. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!